We are Ben and MP, and we bought a sinking schooner that we've been rebuilding for months now. In today's episode, we are finally giving some attention to the interior, and with the help of friends, we are having a blast. Also, our comb is back to life and it has a mission. Will it make it this time? Let's find out together. It is the next day and the epoxy has dried. That's already a very good sign. Today I'm going to go over it with a uh, sanding machine, a palm sander. I go over, make it a little bit smoother and thinner. There are some areas where it kind of gathered all together and left the fiberglass looking a bit exposed. It's not flat yet, so my goal is to have it as flat as possible. There is a point up where I'm going to have to stop trying, but I'm very happy with this. I'm sanding the first layer of epoxy on top of the fiberglass off already because when it catalyzes it kind of groups together and leaves some empty spots. So the goal is now to just do a quick layer of sanding, well quick, it's very slow, of sanding over the top and using 40 grit because the epoxy resin which is dry is very very rough on a sanding paper. When this is finished and clean I can go over another layer of epoxy and hope to fill it, fill in all those little holes and where it hasn't kind of thickened very much yet. So also the books next door going very quickly, it's nice to see some progress on them as well. Reminds me of the good old days with this boat when it was all woodwork. For now it's all paints, epoxies, resins, sanding, and then we'll get back some really exciting stuff. Just like to mention about that. So also now you know where all the carpenters are for shipwrights. Uh, we do call them shipwrights, however they call themselves carpenters. So you might hear us saying both. But those shipwrights, uh, Nezu, Zeka, and Elio, managed to close the whole bullet, bolt, bolt, bulwark in a day. This morning I think there was one plank, the most full starboard one, and the rest was open, and they've just finished doing the whole bulwark almost everything down except for from there to here which is gonna have to be another day because it started raining as you can see it's made quite a mess or it's actually cleaned it up a bit for me I don't know but I'm gonna have to wait with this until it's a bit drier uh, in the meantime we're just gonna work on the interior of the boat again equals putting a paste up on the roof to make it all nice and smooth so we've got the epoxy primer paint uh, which is already protecting the wood and then we can see where there's lots of little dimples and stuff and that's going to be like a synthetic paste just to make it smooth and I'm going over with a sanding uh, pad let's call it on a stick let's see here to make sure I'm going in the length wise with the beam to make sure the roof the roof planks are all nice and smooth which is going to be a hell of a work and Nico is still over there buying paste Well, Nico's actually putting all the paste on the roof to make sure it's nice and smooth and can sand off later. I'm gonna go around all the beams and turn the 90 angle corner into a 45 one with the router. Now it's a very heavy router. I've tested it already on the roof. It's quite a heavy job, but it's fine. Uh, Nico suggested we just flip the boat around so I could do it this way instead of that way. I guess it is what it is.
as the works in this boat have visually slowed down, as in sanding takes a lot more time to make a visual change than carpentry and so on, we have reinforced our team a lot. So we've got MP's dad who's here helping with us. He's measuring stuff of where we're gonna put water and diesel tanks with MP. MP is actually also looking at the hull painting, what's gonna, what the plan is on that. Uh, we've got MP's uncle who's here, who's also helping us paint a swimming platform with a primer paint, epoxy primer paint, uh, also helping us a lot. Interior, Nico is on the inside of the boat sanding down the inside of the hull lightly so we can cover it with an epoxy paint. And we've got Jonathan who's arrived here today to help us out with all the varnishing that has to be done around the boat. And later on when this is done, he's gonna help us with the painting as well. So a big team, a lot's going on. There's a lot of noise. Let's show you around. day at the year because our crew is just five times bigger now so as you can hear up there we have Caio but he's not new in the crew we also have Jonathan who's standing and he's our new addition to the team that he'll be helping us mainly with everything we need to paint varnish and sand because that's his speciality then here we have my uncle Rafa that came from Argentina to give us a hand which is really 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 cool to have him here and over there we have the other addition, which is my dad that you know already, he's been coming. And the last addition that I want to mention today is Paula. Woo! <laughs> he's, she's a friend that we met back in Ubatuba when we bought Yaba. She was like the first person that we met up there. She came with the boat. She also lives in a sailing boat, which is called Hermano. It's a 31 feet uh, steel boat. And she just came back from Antarctica and she's now here visiting us on that boat on that boat with Jakob with Jakob her boyfriend who's also Belgian well it's not that Ben is Belgian but kind of Belgian <laughs> <laughs> and now she's here giving us a hand which is very cool we painted these together which are the lid of our benches up in the aft salon and now we're gonna bring that up so we can finally sit there's one secret about this what's that tape for to protect the wood that's gonna be wooden just the top is painted. Wouldn't it be nice if we didn't do that? Shall we start bringing... That's how I'm feeling. Shall we start bringing stuff up?
is it. It's painted just with an epoxy primer for now. We still want to put another color that's not so white. And of course, they're going to hide it on the cushions because this should be very cold. Caio, come here. Caio. Caio. In. No. <laughs> no, open. We have to open it here and see if he leaves. Caio. Ah, he was here already. All right, he wants to stay. Come. Oh, yeah, the pedal. Come. 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 Big, big, big day here at the yard because today this home that's all grayish is gonna become white, spotless white. That's what we're aiming for. We're gonna start applying the epoxy paint on it so it's really protected. And once the hole is painted, so much can happen. We can start putting the electric wires, the water tanks, the ballast back in. Like so much can happen after that. I'm really. Really excited to see the final result and we're going to show everything about it. So of course the first step was cleaning it all with brush, compressor, vacuum and so on. Getting all the dirt from in all the gaps, which has happened. Uh, also we've gone over with a water cloth just to get all the dirt off. And the bucket of water is very very dirty so a lot of dirt came out. Before painting finally we're going to actually go over with a electric uh, paint gun which is very weak too weak for our epoxy paint but we are using it for ethanol to like get out the last bits of grease and water and all that so that's the next step and then we're gonna have like four or five people each with a brush or a roller and going all the gaps all everything tops bottoms left right and then hopefully this will be all white and then to later finish off with a layer of the compressor gun compressor painting gun and that's the plan the ballast and the water tanks sorted which is going to be under the floor planks so this is like open another front or another window but other stuff 
have to be done at the same time. Yeah, exactly. So now the interior being painted means a lot of other things can happen after, like you said, the balance, the tanks, also the floor. Once you have the floor, the walls, even the furniture, so a lot of things can happen. And also on the outside, we're going to just finish the things that we're waiting for us to do. While it's dry, because it's going to rain for sure. So we're going to hurry outside, all hands on deck, left, literally, and then we'll come back in to finish the interior. <laughs> The outside work that I'm talking about is finishing the roof of the superstructure. It has its epoxy, two layers of epoxy fiberglass, two layers of epoxy, and we're actually busy sanding off the top, kind of taking off a little bit and scratching the top, just so we can apply another layer in some areas if necessary, and if not, i start applying the varnish to protect and make the epoxy UV resistant. seen the dog going up before. They found a new way to bring him down. Come. Come, A lot of things have to be done on the boat to get into the water, but nothing is more important than removing this fridge finally. It took us about a year to get it up here and then another two months or so up here and now we've got the VW van down there. We're gonna load it and take it somewhere where it's not taking up so much space. It's quite sad because we use it to store all our painting rolls, paint brushes, uh, sanding papers, protective gear, so had to make a little shelf out of some plywood, which is good, but this is gonna go down. I don't know how yet, but this is one of those things where you just see how it goes as you go along. But first, this is gonna to have to be removed because this is holding up this beam so we can slide the doors because since we're on the dry, but it's kind of like settling a bit and this is sunk down, but that's gonna be fixed later. So, By the way, this is a converted fridge, so it's not got any of the gas in anymore. It's just got a 12 volt cooling system, so it does not stay up straight.
devagar, devagar, para. Agora. Viu? They're saying right now that this fan's already got a fridge. All we need now is a bench and a cooking stove, and we've got a camping combi, which is something I've always dreamed of. If it weren't for Yaba, we'd be sailing, we'd be sailing the world in one of these. <laughs> no, I'll have combi campers. But yeah, we're just gonna fix it down a bit so it doesn't shuffle around when we're driving, and then drop it off somewhere that's not in the boat. And I can't wait to go and see what the boat looks like now. Now that our storage for all the stuff that we were keeping in the boat is gone, I've made a little temporary plywood storage shelf unit which can be expanded. But for now, it's gonna stay that little thing because it's just for like sanding paper and paintbrushes and EPI. Uh, so yeah, just need to fix this into place and then drop it off somewhere. from here because under there we have fresh paint. The last layer done with the compressor has just finished and our hose painted and it's all white and shiny and we love it. After this we can start doing so much. We can bring the water tanks in, the ballast, we can start planning the flooring, the furniture, everything was depending on this moment. So this is a huge milestone. Painting the inside of the home was definitely a milestone. But you know what? The biggest milestone for us was being surrounded by so many people and their good intentions towards us and our project. We know Yaba will be carrying all the love she's been receiving with her. And guess what? We will be experiencing that love over and over again once we finally leave on board. So thank you so much to our friends and family who joined us. And also thank you so much to our new patrons Melina and Gary and Alfred for donating through PayPal and Perry Fernando goes na rua com open street map. Lou, Henry, Joseph, Adrian, Greg, and Ignacio for your super thanks. And see you all next Sunday. Bye.